Here we go. Well, good news. The first two miles that had most of the elevation only took me less than an hour. So I really thought with how heavy my pack was, I thought I'd be moving like a mile an hour if I was gaining elevation. Um, so I'm very pleased that it only took just under an hour. Um, I've got about three and a half miles left to go to the base camp um, and I'll drop my pack. And if I make this good of time today, um, I just might be able to get one of my day hikes in as well. So I guess we'll see. Also just now seeing a brief glimpse of what I'm headed towards. Whew. Man, they got me excited. <laughs> I've made it to the campsite. Um, it's not as full as I thought, which is good. It's still full, but I'm trying to find a spot. They're pretty obvious spots. Um, and there are some amazing spots that would be over there with a great view, but the signs say that <clears throat> it's the end of the camp area. So even though people are camping on that side and it would be an amazing view, I'd rather respect the limits that they've set and maybe if more people did that, the area could regenerate. Um, anyway, so without a great view, that's all right. I'll still have this spot, hopefully with not very many branches overhead. Um, yeah. So I was just switching the bladder over from my big pack to my day pack and there's water everywhere, so it's leaking again. Um, that was from like two years ago at least, maybe three years ago now, when guapo chewed on my bladder. And I thought I did a pretty good job patching it. It lasted years, you know, until this trip basically is the first time it started to bleed through. So, so I'm trying to mop up what's in my tent and empty out what's in my bag and figure out how I can patch it so I can use it for the next eight days. Mm -hmm. We'll see how far I get. There's a lake nearby on the map that looks like it might be beautiful. And I think it's probably only gonna be about five miles round trip. The storm is clearly coming in though, so I don't know. I keep hearing that the weather changes instantly here, so it could get better, it could get worse. Um, I'm just gonna see how far I can get. And then if I need to, I'll turn around. So, I don't know. Ah, this was a mistake. The rain is starting, the wind is heavy, and I'm not really on our trail, so. certain I'm going to lose my hand this trip. Whew, okay. I just made it back. I'm a little bit wet. And that bladder is still leaking, so the whole back of my backpack was like wet and dripping down my pants as well, so everything's just a little bit wet, which is not how I wanted to start today or this week. Um, but it's okay. I made it back to my tent and I will get dry and go from there. Alright, I'm off for the day. Um, 
good news is the weather has been really wonderful this morning. The bad news is I have been sick since the middle of the night. But it's okay. I'm just going to enjoy the good weather and um, move from there. I think I'm headed up this ridge up to this peak. But I might see a whole other side once I get up. I do not feel good. I've been sick since the middle of the night. And uh, I'm worried that some of the vegetables I brought had some sort of bacteria maybe on them. I know that's how I got salmonella poisoning. Last time I was in Peru. And so I don't know how many times I'll allow myself to throw up before I decide to come back down, but um, I'm trying to just take it easy for now for that sake and just hike slow, but oh, every step feels like I'm about to throw up, so. It's been a few years now that I've wanted to see Fitzroy, and now I'm here. Um, I really wish I wasn't sick, because I want to climb this peak right there for a better view. Um, but I've already thrown up three times, and I don't know if I've sold the place now or something else. Um, but I feel very weak, and it's probably not the smartest to do that, so I think I'm going to go back to my tent, and then um, next clear morning I want to be up here for sunrise, so I really do want to rest and let my body recover a bit, and then hopefully come back here for sunrise whenever it's not raining. I'll show you some more, and who knows, maybe if I'm feeling better than that, maybe I'll be able to do the peak. Um, we'll see. Yeah, right now, I'm just trying to, to focus on the fact that I'm here, and I've wanted to be here for a long time, and it's, it's beautiful. So, I'm going to so, so go over my face and I'll over this, and spend some time just enjoying it. back to camp, um, that beautiful place up there. Um, still feel about the same, unfortunately. So I'm, even though it is a fucking beautiful day and all I want to do is hike every peak in this area, um, I'm going to lay down a bit, see if I can get rehydrated. And I still have not eaten yet today because I tried and threw it up. Um, and it's, uh, it's already three o'clock. Um, a little butterfly. Oh, um, so I need to get some food to actually stay in me and get some rest. Um, then I'm going to start monitoring the weather, if I can find other people in the area that know the weather, um, and sleep as much as I can so that I can try to be up there for sunrise. Um, actually, I'll tell you about that when it gets to time. I'm thinking that I will probably try to get some sleep and as long as I wake up, I'll set an alarm at around 4 probably, see if it's raining and if it's not, I'll probably get up and head back up there just so that I can be up there by 6 um, for the sunrise. So I think the sun rises at, well, let me check, 
Okay, actually the sun rises at 7.22. I thought it was closer to 7. Um, so maybe 4.30 and 6.30, because I think the uh, sun won't be rising until 7.20, but I'm pretty sure the colors are going to be amazing, as long as the sky is clear. So I want to be able to be up there as the colors change. Um, but who knows? I'm going to lay for a few hours and see if I can keep some water and food down, and after that, make a solid plan. So, But they're still good from today. Um, I've had amazing weather. I was able to see the fits, which I've wanted to see for years, and I'm very happy about that. Um, so far, my water bladder has been holding strong and has not leaked. It's exciting. Um, I didn't throw up more than I did, which is great. Um, and yeah, and I'm back to the tent so I can get some rest. On a day that I'm a little bit sick. Well, a lot of bits. <laughs> um, this feels really nice to just oh, lay in the sun, try to drink some water. Um, I've successfully so far kept down some bread um, and a few peanuts and half an apple. So hopefully that'll stick. Um, Try to not move much. I notice that when I move, my stomach starts cramping a lot. Um, so laying in the sun right now, that's exactly what I need. face wash in this very cold river. Um, oh, yeah, I still feel awful. I uh, haven't thrown up again, which is great, but I definitely feel like I want to. Um, so, hour by hour right now. I'm hoping tomorrow I'll feel better. made uh, some plain noodles. Nothing really sounds good. I would rather just not eat, but I know I probably should. Um, everything else just made me feel nauseous even thinking about eating it. So hopefully these will work. Um, we'll see. <laughs> okay, good morning everyone. I don't know if you can really see me or not, but it is almost five and I'm on my way up to the tour right now. It, uh, unfortunately I still can't see any stars or anything, but it's pretty windy, so I'm, I'm worried that it'll be cloudy this morning, but... Oh, hello little bird, that scared me. Still got probably 40 or so minutes before sunrise. Um, I'm hoping with the next half hour I'll get bright enough that I can set my GoPro up and see where I'm actually pointing it. Um, but for now, I'm gonna put on a bunch of layers, try to hide between these rocks, and try to warm up. Okay, I'm gonna get the camera out. rain. It's been going pretty hard and thunder's been getting slightly closer so hopefully that stays today. Um, yeah, it seems like this is going to be my day. Which is probably good because my stomach is still not great and it still hurts and probably need today. So. It's 
unfortunate, but I can barely see the peaks. The light's starting to come out. And with all the snow and the clouds and everything, I can barely see across the lake, which is so disheartening. It's just snowy and cloudy or rainy every day. Oh, but it'll be all right. I will figure it out later how to be okay with that. It makes me sad and I think it's okay to be sad. I just don't want it to ruin that it's still a good experience and it just happens, right? That's part of nature. You can't control. Yeah. raining for close to 24 hours now. If, I'm hoping the rain will stop and that I could start my next hike at 4 a.m. to be able to get there for sunrise. Um, if I wake up and everything's kind of wet, the idea of starting a cold, wet hike at 4 a.m. just doesn't sound great. Um, I guess I'll reevaluate at that time and see what's going on, but... I don't know, hopefully the rain stops soon. It doesn't seem to show any signs of letting up soon, but I don't know, it's gotta stop at some point, so maybe soon. Mm, it's still raining. Prepping a bag today to try to do a day hike. Um, I'm just rearranging all of my plans. I think I'm going to well, I thought I was going to, it just started picking up the rain heavy again. Um, which here, one, it gets really muddy, but also like, I'm, again, I don't want to get my only clothes soaking wet if I'm going to try starting a hike at four in the morning. And if it's gonna rain all day, they're not gonna dry out. And so I'm just really torn with what to do. I don't wanna just lay another full day in this tent doing nothing. I also don't want to hike out because I'm here and I want to see Fitzroy at sunrise. I... Ugh, this weather is not fun. Anyway, if it clears, I'm going to just do a day hike over... It's like 11 miles round trip, I think, um, to this other peak that I was going to do later in the trip. Um, but if I'm here waiting, I might as well. So I'm still just going to pack up and get ready and then hopefully if the weather it's better I can go do that. See. All right, so it's still raining, but at least the sun is out a little bit, so I'm going to try to hike. Um, I cannot sit one more day in that tent while it rains. Ah, <sighs> two days is way too many. I'm still going to try 4 a.m. again for now. It's about noon, and the rain just stopped enough that the sun came out, and there should be a hike nearby, as long as this trail on all trails is actually there that I was going to do way later on, but I, it's nearby and it's something I can do today, so I'm going to go check out if it's a real trail. If it is, it's about an 11 mile loop up to this peak, and hopefully the rain will clear by then as well so that I can have a nice view. There's the fence, nice and shrouded in mystery up there. Um, the good news is, at least this trail does look real. Hopefully the trail off the peak is as well. On all trails, it just goes straight up. There, <laughs> there are no switchbacks or anything being shown, so part of me thinks that someone created that trail by just doing it on their own or something. I don't know, so we'll see if that's a real trail, but if nothing else, even if I don't get great views today, God, it feels good to move after two days of laying in a tent doing nothing, so.
just started lightly snowing. So hopefully, hopefully that doesn't pick up anymore. Um, I'd love for it to clear so I could see some of these views. I can just barely see the outlines of some of these mountains. Oh, and they're beautiful. And I'd love to see it all. So last little bit looks pretty steep, but it's okay. Almost there. chance of these clouds and fog clearing I can get some photos up here because it's amazing so we'll see how long I can last I've been waiting up here for a while and I I really don't think the clouds are clearing it kind of seems like as they're moving this way they're just dissipating and it's creating more of a current um, I don't think they're gonna clear which is unfortunate because I did really want to see some of these views, but I still saw way more than I would have if it had been more cloudy. So, um, yeah, got to see some. That's all right. I'm looking down and it looks like it would have been way too steep with the loose rocks going up, but I'm wondering if I can actually go down this way instead. Um, it'll take me out right by where that um, lake was that I showed you guys and it seems way faster. So I might try that. Um, might be stupid, might be way steeper and the rocks might be really loose. Um, but I kind of just want to try it. So I'm going to try that on the way down. up there it was actually pretty sketchy um but the second half whoo, aside from the wind it's actually really nice you just kind of kind of glide with the loose dirt all the way down so i'm glad i went with this direction i saved a lot of time going back down that ridge and then all the way back around to where the trail is going to be right over here so i got to see the uh perspective coming down the mountain so about that as well. So this right here is what I came to. It's a good thing I went down the way I did because it saved a lot of time and uh, all this weather. Okay, let's see. It's picking up pretty heavy. The snow is picking up and the wind. Um, so I think it's probably a good thing I was not on top of that peak or working my way down the other way. Oh, and now I can hopefully get back and keep my pants, I guess, at least somewhat dry for tomorrow morning. back to my tent um just as i was getting in i did run into one person that i got to know for a little bit he and his wife just started a travel company in colorado um we just chatted for a little bit he's honestly one of the first people i've met who speaks english here so uh, it was nice to talk to someone i am learning spanish still but not enough to have any great conversations i guess um 
so that was nice. And now I'm going to make some dinner. It's almost six and I need to be to bed probably by eight if I'm gonna be getting up at around four. So yeah, I'm gonna have some dinner and hopefully the weather holds off so I can finally finally see uh, Victoria at sunrise because I really don't want to spend a third day hanging out in my tent. So um, yeah, hopefully the weather will be good and uh, I can start that hike at around four. I'll show you guys all of that if it's possible. This will be my fourth day trying to see sunrise up here and uh, I'm giving it one more shot and hopefully by the time I'm up there it'll clear and be able to see the sunrise. It's almost sunrise and it's bright enough to see that you can't see anything so it's a little upsetting it's my fourth attempt now and it's just been rainy every morning and um, I really wanted to see the color change I know it's supposed to be spectacular but I can't really justify staying so I this is my last try so hopefully in the next 10 minutes it'll clear um, if not, I, I don't know, I don't know, try my best and it's just what happens with nature, I guess you don't really get to choose. So, yeah, I saw a fox up here though, so that was, that was nice. Probably not gonna see him. <laughs> One more day. <laughs> Try again. Sure. Okay. Do you want me to take it like Sure. You can hold it like that. All right. Do I have to stir it? No, you don't have to touch. You don't stir. Yeah, yeah. You just it's like you drink. Okay. It's, it's not, not necessarily too bitter. You can tell, like it you is bitter. You have to like to drink it all if you want. Anyway. Yeah. Oh like, no, I have a little bit more, but no, I mean. Yeah, but only if you want. Like you can have it like one minute. Like, <laughs> you, he gives them. Yeah. Okay. He gives us one mate and we stay with the mate sometime. All right. And then we like there is not not hurry. It's more for chatting. Uh, I see. Say thanks. I will not give you an ad because if you say thanks, yeah. it's like you, you don't want more money. Oh, yeah. really? This situation. It's but the code. It's so stupid. Like, <laughs> That's yeah, so well, like when you say thank you, mm -hmm. is that like uh, this is you finished? You don't want. Yeah, you don't want more. Because, oh, really? No, because I will give it to him. He will give me one more, maybe two, and maybe I don't. I don't want more. That's so I say thank you for the money. And that's it. But you that's don't say thank you end. every time. That's oh, sure that's matter. very different. I feel like. All right, I'm moving back down. It's about an hour past sunrise, and this is all we can see. So, just a little bit unfortunate, like I was saying, but it's gonna be okay. Um, yeah, it was a little disappointing, but it's okay. It was still a good time. Got a really good hike in early in the morning. I saw a fox, um, made some friends up top. I met them just briefly last night when I was talking to David, um, that guy that has the travel company. And then they also went up for sunrise. So we got to hang out just a little bit and got to try that tea again that I still just don't love and they are all obsessed with, but um, yeah, didn't get to see the sunrise that I wanted, but it's okay. 
So now I'm going to make some coffee and a little bit of breakfast and rest for a few minutes um, and then probably pack up and head back into town. coffee um, I was realizing <laughs> I was realizing as I was making this that I have not washed my hair in 11 days um, and although I'm really excited to wash my hair I'm realizing that I am more excited to do laundry I've only sink washed clothes since I've been here I've been here for over a month now um, and I definitely need to do a serious wash so I'm gonna find a laundry place when I get to town Hopefully I can do it myself, that way I can do it the same day. And yeah, I'm just gonna get all cleaned up. I'll get to shower, wash my hair, have fresh clothes. Whole new woman, people. <laughs> That's the thing, there are a few things I like. don't mind the extra weight and making sure the pack is the exact fit. Yeah. I will always go an extra pound on a pack oh, to make no. sure it's the right one. I'm off. Finally convinced myself to get up. <laughs> I think it's just about five and a half miles back into town. So maybe two hours and then we will see if there are any hostels with open rooms. <laughs> it's been their busier season. So without a reservation, I'm not sure I'll find one. I might need to find a campsite in town and wait my turn at an open hostel spot to shower and make food and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, we'll see. It's a bridge to cross <laughs> um, once I'm in town. So right now, five and a half miles. 